me too. Yo, nobody likes beating our own horn more than us. In fact, both of us look in the mirror once a day and say, good job. Best of the week on Craigslist. Very good. Best of the week, so we're going to start off with a doozy, right? Well, I think it's a doozy. Um, 2003 Martin HD28 out of Boston for 1800 bucks. Yeah, man. So, I picked this because, I mean, one, this one says it's in great shape, you know, no issues, stored, you know, humidified. Um, but... You know, so I mean, that makes me think that the guitar is in good condition for eighteen hundred bucks. I think that's a good deal. Yeah. I have an HD twenty eight, and it is like uh, the only acoustic guitar yeah. I need for the rest of my life. We've said it before; it's the quintessential um, dreadnought guitar. Thing, yeah, I mean, it, they are it's fair. It, it's a fair description. They are absolutely awesome. So that's why I picked that. I thought that was a good score, of course. All right, uh, Central Massachusetts. We've seen it before. Uh, there's a jazz master going for five twenty-five. Uh, it's certainly a custom job. Um, it's got Seymour Antiquity ones, a warmth neck. Um, who cares if it's not a Fender, man? Check it out. Uh, of course, it deserves the best of the week. Uh, solid ass, uh, you know, jazz master for five hundred bucks. Okay. Why not? Why not? You can you can spend a lot more on a cool parts caster. You can so. spend a lot more on a shitty jazz master. You could. So best of the week for me, so out of uh, under Worcester Craigslist, so we have a Fender American Standard Stratocaster for $775. So this is from 2005. My first real nice guitar was an American Standard Stratocaster from around that same time, and that guitar still kicks ass. And for $775, you could do, I mean, you could pay more money for a not nearly as nice Stratocaster. So I thought this was a hell of a deal and worth going after. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. Stratocaster boys, back at it. Love them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're awesome. Um, I've got a, a 1965 Gibson Melody Maker out of Atterboro. So he wanted 500 bucks for it. Uh, I, I believe the reason he wants 500 bucks for it is because the pickup was non-original. Um, I'm not sure about that. What do I know? Uh, this thing went, I think, within a day. Uh, already gone. Already gone. So best of the week. Let's go, yeah. Guy <laughs> sold it quick. Cool melody maker. Who cares if we pick up as an original? At that point, yeah, I yeah. Mean, for that price. Uh, so what do we got? So we oh, got? Pell oh, Corner. Pell Corner. Hey, all right, hey, right. Pell Corner. So we haven't done this in a little while. What do we do this once before? Once before. Um, yep. Here's one that we got this time. So earlier on in Best of the Week, we uh, had a Jam Pedals Waterfall on there. Oh yeah. Jam yeah. Pedals Kick Ass, uh, and I actually just got today a Jam Pedals. Lucy Dreamer Supreme. Um, cool overdrive on one side of the pedal with a mix knob to blend in your clean signal and a boost on the other side and a knob to switch the order of the boost and OD. Pretty awesome pedal. Yeah, hard um, to beat that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really a kind of a dream combination of overdrives. Um, and to be totally honest, I bought it because my kid's name is Lucy. Hey. And why not? So. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do a couple more of those. I mean, you don't see that kind of stuff every day. It's like we're not uh, highlighting a tube screamer that we found. No, no, no. Uh, all right. Uh, this is a different uh, segment. It's new. It's called Guitar I Shouldn't Have Bought of the Week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Uh, I bought a, um, a Gretsch uh, resonator, one of the really, really cheap ones. Uh, you see the pictures of it. It's right here. Man, I got a cheap. I was drinking some Coors Banquets, and I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, I need a resonator guitar. Why not? So we'll see what happens. But yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought it. It should be here next week. So <laughs> I, <laughs> we've been there. Everyone's been there. Everyone's been there. I did the same thing a couple of years ago, and uh, I sold mine mm. recently just because I got kind of got tired of looking at it, and yeah. I couldn't play it. But up space. Ho hopefully, you have better luck than I did. I think I'll like it. I think uh, I'll like it. My last best of the week. You don't see these all the time. Uh, Epiphone Elitist Broadway. Um, these were awesome. So they made them in the early 2000s. The Epiphone Elitist guitars made out of Japan. Um, so I had the opportunity to buy one of these 10 or 12 years ago for like 900 bucks. And I passed on it because I thought it was too expensive at the time. And now, How long ago? 10, 12 years ago. We were kids. We were kids. We were kids. We were kids. Now they're going north to two grand, and really, I mean, 
it, you know, from what people say about these, Epiphone had to stop making them rather quickly because they were just as good, if not better, than their Gibson counterparts. So, I mean, this is basically an L5 awesome guitar with yeah. an Epiphone logo. So Yes, there's some, there's some dope Epiphones out there. There really are. There's some really cool Epiphones. There's some garbage ones, too. There really are. Probably more garbage <laughs> ones. Uh, worst of the week. Uh, we are obviously back in studio. We are no longer off location. Uh, this worst of the week is out of North Attleboro. Um, it's not technically an ad for someone selling something. It's more so a, I would like to buy a camouflaged coffin base case for a Warlock base. So, a coffin case that's camouflaged. He wants to buy it. So, uh, if you got one. If you got one, there's a guy looking for him. Go to North Attleboro and get the coffin case and sell it to this guy. And there you go. All right. Yeah. That's it, I think, right? That's it. That's all we got. All right. Thank, Thank you, Craigslist. Thank you very much, Craigslist. <laughs> all right. Bye.